All right, we do have a lot of oil sitting there. You can see it sitting right in the snout of the crank, and it's still dripping off. And here's a nice film of it on the back of this crank pulley. All right, we have our timing belt cover off. There's quite a bit of oil in the timing belt, even on the top of it, on the cover, on the seal. Point to it. And we have a lot of oil that's kind of welled up on the base of the oil pump and is dripping directly onto the belt. And if you look, you can see it's all slung up inside of the idlers and dripped all over this bypass tube on the bottom. And we've got it slung around. It's just being thrown everywhere all over here. So before we remove our belt, we want to line up our marks so that we don't have any interference issues. Um, what we want to do is rotate our crank. Um, you always want to rotate clockwise. And what we want to do is line up this mark here with the uh, index mark on the uh, pulley itself. When we do that, we know that all of our pistons are in the center of their bore. And we won't have any trouble with the valves contacting the pistons as we rotate the cams upon assembly. So here we are, if you can see that, focus, focus, but here's our mark on the crank sensor and then we have a hash mark on the cog behind it. Alright, our mark is lined up. You may have to rotate the crank twice as it takes two revolutions of the crankshaft for the cams to make one revolution. Uh, once your mark is lined up, you want to look at your cams and find your timing marks are lined up. On this side we have a mark at the top and then we have a double mark between the pulleys that align to each other and then a single hash mark on the side of the pulley, if we can see it, that lines up to a notch on the outer timing belt cover. And then we'll come to the other side, and then the same thing, we have a notch at the top, a double hash between the two pulleys that line to each other, and then the bottom pulley will line up to the notch on the outer timing belt cover. Now that we have our thing lined up, we want to go ahead and remove our belt and remove our pulleys. Um, first thing, it's usually easiest to do is remove the tensioner. Um, if you were servicing the belt and putting it back on or using this tensioner, you'd want to squeeze down the piston and drive a grenade pin in there. But we're replacing it with a new one as these tensioners tend to fail before anything else anyway. Um, it's been about 100,000 miles since this car's last service, so aside from the leaks, it would be due for timing belts anyway. All right, so I've got this pulley off. And uh, let's take a look. All right, here we can see it looks like our seal is pushed out and it's actually abrading on the back of the cog. Here you can see some wear marks in there uh, from the seal being pushed out, I guess, by oil pressure and it's just riding against this pulley and is wearing through the material. And the lip has moved past the crank snout and this is where all of our oil pressure is being lost to. It looks like that seal has popped out a good eighth of an inch. Better than a millimeter.